Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the Michael Vaughn case out of Fruitland, Idaho. Michael Vaughn, six years old, been missing since July 27th, 2021. Where is Michael Vaughn? So right now, authorities are searching a property where two individuals stay at. Sarah Wandra, Stacy Wandra. Sarah Wandra was just charged with authorities recently for failing to notify a, about a death related to Michael Vaughn and her husband. Stacy Wandra has been in federal custody since the springtime, um, being a felon in possession of a firearm. I want to talk a little bit about Stacy Wandra and his current criminal case. Now, he has a new attorney. His attorney's name is Thomas Monahan. Monaghan. Uh, Monaghan. He was just appointed to be Wandra's attorney just recently and filed a motion with the court a few days before, just a few days before authorities went to the Wandra's house with a search warrant on the 12th of November. On the 9th of November, Stacy Wandra's new attorney filed a motion with the courts. Check it out. So this is a motion attorney Thomas Monaghan filed with the courts on behalf of his new client, Stacy James Wandra, United States of America versus Stacy James Wandra, Thomas Monaghan, hereby affirms, I was recently appointed to represent Mr. Wandra after his former attorney counsel had to withdraw as attorney. The court previously scheduled this case for a change of plea hearing on November 9th, 2022. While it is entirely possible that Mr. Wanja will proceed to change his plea rather than go to trial, I am ethically bound to review with due diligence the discovery and circumstances of this case so that I can independently decide whether to endorse Mr. Wanja's plan change of plea and his entry into the plea agreement. My intention is not to interfere with Mr. Wanja's decision to plead guilty as long as I certify that I support that choice. This request is not made to unnecessarily delay these proceedings. I would ask the court to continue the plea hearing for approximately the same amount of time that was granted to Mr. Wandra, Wandra's prior counsel when he faced a similar situation, 45 days. In connection with this request, I have communicated with Assistant United States Attorney Aaron Lackadar, who has indicated that the government does not object to the defense request. Mr. Wandra understands that this request is made for his benefit and he understands and waives his right to a speedy, speedier resolution or a trial under the Speedy Trial Act and the United States Constitution. He understands that any continuance of the plea hearing will uh, constitute excludable time under the Speedy Trial Act. November 4th, 2022, signed by Thomas Monaghan. Defendant, Stacey James Wandra, attorney for Wandra. He wanted a continuance for the case. Uh, he said that Stacey was in preparations of plea, making a plea deal. What is that plea deal about? Is that plea deal related to having authorities go over to the Wandra home to search and look for Michael Vaughn. Now, it's interesting about Stacey Wandra's attorney. He's a, I believe he's a private practice attorney out of Boise. I believe that some federal inmates and some people that are indigent in the federal court system, sometimes they hire outside counsel to represent them. The courts appoint outside counsel to represent them. But Stacey Wandra's attorney has his own history. He's been arrested before. He's been arrested before, and there's actually been a newspaper article out about Stacey Wander's attorney from a 2008 arrest. Check it out. This is a news report from KHQ from 2008. Duncan lawyer arrested for drugs, alcohol after crash. One of the federal defenders representing convicted killer Joseph E. Duncan was arrested for investigation of misdemeanor drug and alcohol offenses after a traffic accident in Boise. KTVB reports that Thomas Monaghan was arrested and booked into Ada County Jail early Sunday for investigation of driving under the influence, 
possession of marijuana and possession of drug paraphernalia and being involved in an accident that included damage to a vehicle. He was later released. This is the current attorney for Stacy Wandra. He had his own legal issues in the past. So he's arrested for DUI and drug charges or whatnot. So I looked in the Idaho court system to see the outcome of that case. And I found it. I found it. Check it out. This is the iCourt portal system for Idaho. I found the case, State of Idaho versus Thomas Monaghan. And this was a case in 2008, State of Idaho. Charges, DUI, possession of marijuana, drug par paraphernalia, accident failure to stop. He had a 1400 cash bond. He was found guilty of driving under the influence, guilty of possession of drug paraphernalia, and guilty of accident failed to stop. Uh, driving under the influence on one count was uh, dismissed, dismissed marijuana, dismissed, dismissed. And scrolling down here on hearings in reference to the case, looks like probation was ordered for him. He uh, served two years uh, misdemeanor, unsupervised probation. So it looks like the sentence that he got uh, was probation for this crime committed in 2008. This is the current attorney for Stacy Wandra. So he had his own legal trouble himself. So he was placed on two years probation for that crime, found guilty. So he defends Stacy Wander now. Stacy Wander has a new attorney. Is he making a deal with the FBI, the federal government, the DOJ, you know, to get a reduced sentence on his federal firearms charge? This is his second time being indicted in the last, what, four years? Being indicted by the FBI for being indicted by the DOJ arrested by the FBI for being a felon in possession of a firearm. And the first time around, he only received nine months in jail, followed by one year of supervised release. He violated that supervised release and maxed out and got out about uh, 14, 15 months before Michael Vaughn got missing, ended up living in Fruitland. And then after Michael Vaughn went missing earlier this year in April, uh, he was present with Sarah because Sarah got charged too and uh, trying to sell a firearm to a gun shop in New Plymouth, Idaho, which is in Payette County. So he's arrested again. He's trying to make a plea bargain. You know, the federal government will probably go harsh on him because this is the second time he committed the same type of crime. You know, being a felon in possession of a firearm is a serious matter. You can face over 10 years of prison for that time. So is he making a deal Stacy to get a reduced sentence? Did he give authorities information in reference to the Michael Vaughn case to save himself? Remains to be seen. I am covering this case. I post a lot of information about the Wanderers on this case. So if you haven't subscribed, I suggest you do subscribe. Um, I am in the know about what's going on right now. Uh, to the best of what's put out there and I'm doing my own digging and whatnot. And I got a lot of people in the Fruitland community that has reached out to me to provide me insight, especially on the Wanderers and the Wanderers Associates. So more is coming out soon. Go view my videos, praying for the Vaughn family, praying for the community of Fruitland. Hopefully Michael Vaughn is found soon. Everyone be safe. God bless.